Chris Steve Lawrence, um, Father Nakota Lawrence, and he's got some great artwork here. We're just checking it out. Um, tell me a little bit about your um, artwork and, and how you create it. Thanks, Martin. Yeah, we do a very old style of jewelry called tufa cash jewelry, and it involves the use of a volcanic uh, stone called tufa stone. So uh, we carve all of the designs. Hand me a bracelet, please. We carve all of the designs first into the uh, tufa stone, which is the, the volcanic mold. Uh, so all of these designs are carved into the mold, and then molten silver is then poured into that tufa stone mold to uh, create this work. So in the case of a bracelet, everything is cast flat, and then everything is bent, and then I cast a separate piece for the turquoise, a bezel it's called, and then that's soldered onto the bracelet, and it creates this work. So on this side, we have the Hopi Suns, which is my clan. I'm a member of the Sun Clan on my Hopi side. Uh, my dad is a Cinnaboyne from uh, northern Montana. And then on the other side is the corn plant here with stars and stuff. So it's a very distinctive style of jewelry. And, mm -hmm. and Marion and I, my wife, Marion Denepa, have been doing it for over 20 years. Uh, we both uh, went to the school at the Institute of American Indian Arts here in Santa Fe, and we got involved in the Indian art market, and we've been doing it for over 20 years now. Mm -hmm. So Indian market's kind of a big deal for you then, huh? There's a lot of people here. It's an important deal, huh? It's a really big deal. It's a, it's a very important to our family, and, uh, but it's, a, it's kind of a reunion of sorts because we get to visit all of our old friends. Uh, of course, going to school here at IA, we know a lot of other artists as well. Uh, and so it's always good to see them every year. Uh, they, we're always in the same booth here on uh, 512 Old Santa Fe Trail. And so it's, uh, it's just like a big family reunion. And then we get to meet uh, our old customers that we've known for many, many years and that we've met throughout the world because pretty much the whole world comes to Santa Fe during Indian Market. And then, uh, and then we get to meet new customers along the way too, which is very, uh, very fun, you know. It just m makes doing artwork really, really fun. So. <laughs> So have you get a chance to walk around and check out the other artists as well? Or? Well, usually I try to stay in my booth during Indian Market because that's when pe that's where mm -hmm. people come to look for you at, at your own booth. Mm -hmm. So I only usually take breaks just for to get a little bit of chow and to use the R and R. So, but uh, most of the time you'll find me here in my booth uh, when I help Nakoda do doing his hoop dance, and I'll go help him get set up with his hoop dance. But uh, people come to our booth to look for us, so I try to be here as much as possible. Awesome. Well. Uh, Appreciate your time, and I'll let you get back to your work. And uh, I look forward to uh, seeing Nakota and more of his work. And right on. Thank, thank you, Martin. Thank always you. good to see you. Yeah, yeah. it's always Come good to see you. Come back to Arizona, yeah. buddy. Yeah. All right. New Mexico. Now. <laughs> <laughs> I, New Mexico, yeah. yeah. Arizona is beautiful. Too. I know, I I know this guy real good. <laughs> <laughs> we run into each other all the time. We run into each other all over the place. <laughs> right right? Yeah. Southwest. Yeah. Southeast. Yeah. Just say Southwest. You got to be. Yeah. <laughs> Might as well move down here, man. <laughs> <laughs>